Hey everybody, this is Colin from Predictable. I just wrapped a fireside chat with the Startup Accelerator and I got a really interesting question that I don't think I've created any content around or haven't really talked about much. Um, and the question was, what does product market fit feel like? I feel like I've been lucky enough to find it a couple of times and I've talked a little bit about maybe the process for getting there, customer development. Um, but what does what is it that you're working towards? If you're a founder and you don't feel like you have it or you're trying to figure out like, what is it? Because um, everybody says, oh, it's a, you know, it's the market is coming towards you or it's a rush of customers and you can't keep the service online, which is accurate, but it's, I find it's too, um, I, what I was, I, what I wish I had when I was younger in my entrepreneur journey was just a little bit more about like how to articulate it and what does it kind of feel like? And the first thing is momentum. When I went from working on Voltage CRM, which nobody wanted to buy, uh, and I, I knew that, but I, I didn't know that, if you know what I mean, um, to working on Carve and working on where we started booking meetings for people and when we started building a sales engagement tool, it felt like the journey of a startup is pushing a big rock, big heavy rock up a hill. And that moment where we started to find product market fit was the rock was suddenly lighter. Like I wasn't pushing it up. And if I stepped away from it, it wouldn't roll back and crush the team. In fact, you know, I, I remember a specific moment when I had made the, when we transitioned from trying to sell voltage CRM to trying to figure out what to do next. And I made a commitment to my engineering team which was my co-founders said, hey, I won't ask you to write another line of code until we have customers, until we have five paying customers. And I had no idea how to do that or what it was going to be. Um, but I made the commitment that I would find five paying customers and I would go into the market with an open mind and try and figure it out. And the moment where I started to realize, hey, we might have something here, that rock suddenly felt lighter. And I did five customer development interviews back to back. And from that, seven customers came out. By the end of it, two had kind of bullied me into taking on their friend's company uh, to do a thing for them that the first one had proposed I do for them. Um, I, basically, the first customer was Matt. His name is Mac. And he was like, yes, we have these problems. And you're, you know how to do this? And I said, yes. And he said, great. I want you to do it for me. I'm going to give you 500 bucks a month. Um, I don't know if that's a good deal, but you want to do it? And so I said, yes. And he introduced me to two other people and they said, yes. And so of those five, I got seven. It was this feeling of momentum. That rock that I was pushing up a hill was suddenly lighter. And then it was when we had the seven, I was like, oh no, this thing's rolling down a hill. That was the kind of feeling. That's what it felt like. It was this, this exciting energy where you're like, okay. Now, like there's a, there's a, there, there, there's something here. You know, when I was describing what we were working on, people are going, what you could do that. Um, that was a, that was a fun feeling. That's a fun feeling. It makes the startup grind that push, uh, that journey up the hill. It makes it worth it from a, from an activation or from a, a metrics or from a quantifying perspective, like it's one thing to say, there's this feeling and you know, you, you'll know it when you feel it. But I didn't think that, I don't think that's really helpful for anybody who's like, who's in this, who's pushing the rock up the hill. And so I thought I'd offer something that helped me um, when I was looking back at like, how do I, how did I try and quantify the pirate metrics? And I like to steal. I like to steal from Dave McClure at 500 Startups. He's got a great talk on pirate metrics. Um, I would do a, I steal a cribbed version of his pirate metrics uh, to help quantify product market fit. Um, it's acquisition, activation, retention, and revenue. Ac acquisition is when you're doing the customer development issues, first people are accepting, they, they will do them for you. Um, they will do them, sorry, with you, allow you to ask them questions about a topic. When you ask them, you know, at the end, hey, would you like to, you know, I've got a little thing I'm working on. Do you want to try like the alpha, the beta? Do you want to try for free? Or maybe you've got like a service and you've got a severely discounted price. You ask them, hey, do you want to check it out? It's a small contribution or a small investment. If they say yes, that's acquisition. So you kind of go through, you're talking to customers, they're saying yes. If they say yes, and they actually click on that link, they actually sign up on the account, they actually pay that invoice, that I would count as activation. Are they actually using the stuff? So they've said yes, and they're actually going to use it. 
the next step is retention. If they said yes, they paid, they signed up, did they actually use it? Did they keep using it? Are they getting some value out of what you are doing? Product, service, whatever. Do they actually use it? The last piece is retention. So the pirate metrics, there's revenue in the middle, but for product market fit, I skipped that because the last piece is referral. If they said yes, they use the software, they keep using the software, and they are sending you referrals, this is exactly what product market fit felt like for me. Um, I felt it when I was starting Predictable Revenue and we were starting the, the meeting building or the meeting booking service. Um, and I felt it when even stronger when we were building Carp.io, which was the sales engagement platform uh, that we built that went zero to 60K in monthly recurring revenue in two months. It, it peaked and it did that afterwards. Um, but that's roughly what it felt like. I hope that's helpful. Let me know in the comments if this was a, if you want to hear more stuff like this or if this uh, frameworks like this are useful to you. Anyway, I'll see you next week. Thanks.